In today's tech tip, I'm going to demonstrate how to create a custom light symbol which can be used with the instrument insertion tool to create a lighting device. Here we have the basic 2D outline of an ETC Source 4 70 degree light. This was created using a combination of tools from the basic tool palette such as the rectangle tool, polygon tool, 2D reshape tool, and chamfer tool. Once the outline is created, we can duplicate the existing geometry and use it to create a 3D representation of the light using the sweep command. First, hold down the shift key on your keyboard and select the outlining geometry of the light. Once it is selected, hold down the control key on a PC or option key on a Mac. Note that a plus sign appears next to the cursor indicating that if you click on the selected geometry, it will create a duplicate copy right on top of the original data. Next, place a locus point centered to the 2D geometry. This is used to define the axis of rotation for the sweep command. Now with the 2D selection tool, hold down the shift key on your keyboard and select the duplicated geometry along with the locus point. Once all the necessary objects are selected, go to Model, Sweep. The Create Sweep dialog box will appear, and there are several fields which can be changed to define the parameters of a sweep. But in this case, since we are creating a 360 degree sweep, we are just going to accept the default settings and click OK. Now there is a 3D representation of the light along with a 2D representation. By using the create symbol command, there is enough geometry to create a hybrid symbol of the light. To do this, select both the 2D and 3D geometry, then go to modify create symbol. The create symbol dialog box will appear. Next, name the symbol and click OK. Note that the geometry has disappeared, but it is not deleted from the document. It now resides in the resource browser associated with this file. Before the instrument insertion tool can be used to place the ETC source for 70 degree light into the document, the light info record must be attached to the symbol along with the appropriate light information. This record is the key step for converting the symbol into a lighting device. First, the light info record must be imported into the active document. It is best to import this record from one of our existing light symbol libraries. I have already added the ETC light library as one of my favorites in the resource browser to easily access and import the light info record. Once the ETC library is active in the resource browser, right click on the light info record and select import, or select the record and click on the resources button to import the record into the active document. Once this is done, click on the home button to navigate back to your active document. The resource browser will now show the light info record as a resource in the active document. Next, Edit the light symbol by right-clicking on the symbol and choosing Edit, or select the symbol and choose Edit from the resource menu. Choose to edit the 2D component and click OK. This activates the Edit Symbol mode and is visually defined by the orange border around the document window. It is important to make sure that nothing is selected. Click in a blank area in the document to deselect the geometry. Next, click on the Data tab in the Object Info palette and check the square for the Light Info record. By not selecting any part of the light symbol and attaching the record, this links the Light Info record to the whole symbol instead of the geometry inside of the symbol. Now that the record is attached, enter in the appropriate data for this light. Instead of entering in each field, I'm going to fast forward to a completed light record. 
If the light info record is not properly attached to the symbol, the light will not display correctly when rendered in 3D, and certain fields will not populate with information when using the instrument insertion tool. Once all the data is entered into these fields, exit the symbol. To test the custom light, I'm going to go to a saved view where I've created a small set in 3D. Next, double click on the instrument insertion tool and make the custom light symbol active so I can place it in the document. Click on the shape tab in the object info palette and apply a Z height to the lighting device. Click on the edit button and link the light to a focus point and click OK. If you scroll through the object info palette, you'll see that the data entered into the light info record is attached to the corresponding fields for the lighting device. Next, I'm going to switch to a 3D left isometric view, turn my light on through the visualization tool palette, and then render the scene with final quality render works. 